Hey everybody, I wanna talk about a quick little bedside test or exam that you can use. There's a lot of these, but this one you can use to get a quick assessment on where a child or an adult is in their visual cognitive development. Now, obviously it's not um, black and white and there's a lot of things that we do to actually get an assessment on visual cognitive skills. And remember, when we are fully there in development and we are we are using our brain in a whole brain way and active in the prefrontal cortex and the frontal lobe and when we are there and we are developed that's when we have really efficient use of our visual dominance and our visual cognitive system so here's a great example on a quick little bedside exam that you can do um, to see get a window into where a child is in this development so what you want to do is you want to figure out how are you assessing your world what are your primary tools of assessment? Now, you guys know that you use a lot of watch and wonder tools of just looking at a child or an adult and seeing what is their behavior, how are they moving their body, how are they using auditory and verbalization, and that gives you clues as to how they're processing their environment. But here's a really great one that you can just play. Now, this is going to be for verbal kids and adults. Nonverbal kids, this wouldn't work in the same way. But here goes. So you want to ask a, a child, how do you know if mom, which typically mom, mom or dad, but the closest, whoever is maybe grandma, whoever is the closest person to them that's maybe raising them or their primary caretaker or that they're most connected with, how do you know if mom is upset with you? How do you know if you're in trouble with mom or dad or whoever? How do you know? And here's what the different answers are going to tell you. Sometimes you'll get a I don't know. I'm totally surprised. I have no idea why I'm in trouble. That's a window into a, a child or an adult who's like right here. They're not really projecting into the future. They're not using their visual cognitive skills to assess outside of themselves. Even the most primitive thing outside of self, which would be mom or dad or primary caretaker, person I'm, most cl I'm closest to and most connected with. And they're like, I'm just living in this super impulsive kind of primitive way and then boom all of a sudden I'm in trouble. This could also be asked for like a husband and wife team like how do you know like you know you if you are if you've upset your wife I don't know I have no clue. Well they're not really using really sophisticated tools to pick up the whole picture and the feelings and emotion and reading the nonverbals if they're just surprised right. So that's get, giving you a window into more primitive tools not quite there yet in efficient processing and visual cognitive processing. Next scenario could be how do you know when mom is upset with you or you're going to be in trouble or she's not pleased? And the next thing would be, um, well, when her voice gets really low or when her voice changes or her voice is mad um, or she gets really quiet or she gets really loud or things like that. That's a window into oh, we're using more attentiveness, we're putting more of our processing into auditory verbalization. Well, for a three, four-year-old, that might be appropriate somewhat. For a 10-year-old, um, we want to be using more sophisticated tools. A 15-year-old, a 25-year-old, we want to be using more sophisticated tools to be able to predict when we're going to be upset, be when mom or a scenario or socialization is going to be um, upsetting to somebody else. But if it's, oh, I know because of the sound she makes or doesn't make, that's a window into, that's a primary tool that that child is using, which means they're probably not there yet. Also, some interesting things you might see with that with that child or that presentation is they may be also making a lot of noises themselves, humming a lot, singing a lot. They may have an auditory verbal tick. They may be very sensitive to sounds that aren't created by themselves. So noisy restaurants are challenging for them. When there's a noise that is not controlled by self, um, because they're emerging into auditory verbalization, so they want to control that, but they're not super efficient at processing yet. Then when there's noises that aren't controlled or created by self, that can be a stressful situation. They probably make a lot of noises. They're saying, hey, I attend to noises, and that gives me information about my environment. When mom's voice changes or it's not there, that's when I know she's upset. Next tool. 
Hey, how do you know if your mom's upset? Well, her face gets different. Her eyes look different. Her face changes. Um, okay, well, we're attending in a visual way. I'm reading nonverbal visual clues to understand and process my environment. We're emerging into more visual dominance. That's great. That's a window into we're starting to develop there or maybe we are there. So great tool just to use as a quick little like 30 second interaction to give you a window into where a child is, where an adult is, and watch for changes as you go to see are we becoming more sophisticated um, as we go. My daughter um, at for almost five years old, um, three months ago and beyond, and before that, was talking about, Mom, I don't like it when your, vo your voice is different. Um, and we don't yell in our family, but when, when my voice, my tone changed and got more stern, she was really like understanding and processing tone. And I noticed that just within the last two weeks, she started to say, Mom, your eyes, are you upset? Your eyes look different. So she's starting to look for visual clues as to what's happening outside of herself, which is a wonderful window into her developmental trajectory. All these little tools, if you know how to use them, give you a lot of information about what's happening, how an individual is processing, what tools they're using, what that tells you about their trajectory of development, and how to communicate that um, with mom and dad to see changes, see growth, see improvement and efficiency. Um, huge tools. Use this as a quick little bedside exam and we'll give you lots more tools like this as we go.